<laughs> Good joke. Thank you. Try a little humor every Sunday. <laughs> Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Holy Covenant. Good morning. Good morning. So happy to see so many faces today. <laughs> um, if you have a cell phone with you, we ask that you please turn it on and vibrate, and I should take my mask off. Okay. All right. <laughs> So yes, yeah, so you please take it, put it on vibrate for the remainder of the service. Um, but before you do that, you should check in on Facebook, let everyone know you're here with us and how much you love us. Um, okay, thanks for your cooperation. Um, we'll talk about it later, but also reminder, we're, because of COVID, we're not going to be passing the basket around. The basket, offering basket is in the back. Um, and you can do that after you take communion. Um, there's a lot happening at Holy Covenant, so we encourage you to please read your bulletin carefully. Um, but I will go over so quickly and briefly. Age Options next large group meeting is February 22nd at 11 a.m. via Zoom. The link is in the newsletter on Age Options website and on our Facebook page. We will have a speaker from the Alzheimer's Association to discuss memory care. Pines with the Pastor, Mike Allen and now for February 10th at 6 p.m. at Pub 78 in Brookfield. Join us for conversation and your choice of beverage and good food. Do you feel called to help with worship, to read a prayer, to do a reading, to usher, serve communion, whatever you'd like to do, whether you're here or virtual, we need and want your gifts for sure. So contact Reverend Martha or myself, Roxanne Victory, and we will get you on that schedule. Don't you worry. (laughs) So if we gather once again, In person and virtually, I invite you to join in our mission statement to remind us why we are here. Holy Covenant invites you to bring your beliefs and identities to celebrate with us as we strive for inclusion, spirituality, community action, and social justice. And our call to worship. O holy God, open unto me light for my darkness, courage for my fear, hope for my despair. O loving God, open unto me wisdom for my confusion, forgiveness for my sins, love for my hate. O God of peace, open unto me peace for my turmoil, Joy for my sorrow, strength for my weakness. O generous God, open my heart to receive all of your gifts. And our call to worship today was by Howard Thurman, who's a well known black uh, theologian. May nothing leave you cold. This door, and may ill fortune never pry about these windows. May the roar and rain go by. By faith made strong. And though the 
sheltering walls are thin, may they be strong to keep hate out and hold love in. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back. Welcome back online, too. Will you please pray with me? Creating one, speak to us. Use human words, human voices, human hands to reach us. May we hear in our mortal hearts your spirit speaking words of hope and comfort and guidance in all your names. Amen. A reading from the wisdom of John chapter 2 verses 1 through 12. On the third day, there was a wedding in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus and his disciples had also been invited to the wedding. When the wine gave out, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Woman, what concern is that to you and to me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. Now standing there were six stone water jars for the Jewish rites of purification, each holding 20 or 30 gallons. Jesus said to them, Now draw some out and take it to the chief steward. So they took it. When the steward tasted the water that had become wine and did not know where it came from, though the servants who had drawn the water knew, the steward called the bridegroom and said to him, Everyone serves the good wine first, and then the inferior wine, after the guests have become drunk. But you have kept the good wine until now. Jesus did this, the first of his signs, in Cana of Galilee, and revealed his glory. And his disciples believed in him. This is the word of the Lord. Well, good morning again. Let me get myself technologically. I have not yet figured out a graceful way to take off the mask and put on the microphone, but here we go. There we go. So once once again, good morning. It's good to have you all with us, whether you're here in person or online, and welcome to our worship celebration on this first Sunday of Black History Month. And our, our message is, again, is entitled, The Domino Falls. Let's see what she did for me. Oh, a rainbow, pretty chalk rainbow. Okay. Will you pray with me? Holy and living God, wake us to your presence here in this place, wherever that might be for us at this moment, in this time, just as we are. Give us strength and just enough wisdom to recognize your touch in our lives. In all your names, amen. amen. So it is indeed good to be back in uh, person again and to share via live stream as well. One of the big debates um, on clergy Twitter uh, has been about you know whether live stream needs to continue or not and you know, I have to say, I think the majority opinion is, oh yeah, um, because it's, it has so very, very many advantages. Um, so yeah, the watchword these days is flexibility. Uh, to be ready for anything and everything at all times, right? That's sort of the way our lives are these days. Uh, so we've moved to the hybrid worship again. Ready to be in person for those who can be here, 
ready to maintain live streaming for those as I can't uh, who can't, as I said, flexibility. <clears throat> and I noticed the other day that I've been ordained for a little more than 18 years. Yay. Which is thank you, thank you. Which is both exciting and scary. <laughs> uh, where did those 18 years go? Uh, it seems a little difficult to believe. But one of the things that I have learned over the years, talking about flexibility and not knowing what might happen, is that we never know when something that we say or do or have or display may have a profound impact on someone else for good or for evil. Um, I've had people tell me how meaningful, for example, a certain message was um, for them, and they felt I was speaking directly to them, and I can't even remember the message. <laughs> <laughs> or I do remember it, but I thought it was not really one of my better ones. <laughs> All I can say is, spirit moves, spirit mm -hmm. moves, it was not me. <clears throat> There's a genre of... Uh, Videos, well, I've been to video and a lot of other places, but I think it's just fascinating. One of those things that it's it, it shows dominoes falling. Okay, and that, we're not talking about you know six in a row. Um, they're often very intricate patterns, creating fountains and interweaving in various ways, and they have different colors, and it's it's both fascinating and very uh, it's fascinating and very simple, uh, satisfying. But Someone touches that first domino, a single domino, and they all fall. It goes to the next one, and then the next one, and the next one. It flows across the floor, down the stairs, around the bend, and back and up. Uh, it's, just, it's just amazing. Just that one tap makes everything happen. It's one domino amazing. falls to another one. Mary's comment to Jesus is like that first domino. She points out a need to him, and soon there's enough wine, and then his followers believed in him, and then we don't hear it in this passage, but then he begins preaching and uh, uh, calling more disciples, and so on. Everything that happened after that sprang from that one remark. Mary's. But there are two things to notice here. One is, interestingly enough, Jesus seems reluctant. He understands Mary's hint to him. Maybe there were similar events that happened at home. Hey, Jesus, you know, I'm almost out of out of corn or out of grain. Can you, you know, bring get some of um, Or maybe he had confided in her. Um, and so that he, he wasn't really sure he was ready or wanted to take on the role of, and responsibility of the Messiah. Maybe that was what was happening. And maybe Mary just saw that he needed a little human encouragement. She gave him that little tap, and the dominoes fell. The other thing is that it didn't have to happen that way. We can speculate about other ways that Jesus might have declared himself or what would have happened if the water had not been turned to wine, but we don't really know. Um, the point is that one way or another, it was going to happen, and it did. One tap of the domino, and away we went. When I preach those messages that were unknown to me, uh, meaningfully, m meaningful and moving to others, it obviously could have gone another way. That person might not have come that Sunday. I might not have been there. I might have been ill, or they might not have been paying attention. But that isn't how it happened, is it? One tap, and the dominoes fell. A comment? A throwaway line, a book or picture in the classroom that lets people know they are not the only one who are perhaps gay, lesbian, bisexual, trans. Pictures that display Jesus as other than white, blonde, blue hair, blue eyed. 
small gift of a door held open or flowers on a doorstep. Giving someone an opportunity to choose instead of telling them what they must do. I want us to take a moment now and think of a time when someone made a comment or a gesture of some kind and it made you think differently or feel differently. Maybe it was a compliment that made you think, oh, I can do this after all. Or maybe it was hurtful. You thought, why did they say that? Just remember it. Don't try to analyze it or experience it again. Just remember it. Hold it in your memory for a moment. Now take the time, a moment, to think of a time when something you said or did made a difference to someone else. And again, this can be something that was maybe helpful and, and maybe you're sorry that you said that or did that. You may not be able to because we often don't let people know um, how something that they said or did or shared or displayed, uh, it, we don't share how that affected us, right? <clears throat> but we know. So again, just remember it. Was it good, hard to hear, or indifferent? Our words and the images that we share are so powerful. We know that another person's words can pull us up to joy or push us down to despair. Words and images can incite people to speech, to violence, or it can motivate them to sacrifice and work for peace. Thoughtlessly spoken words can destroy dreams and destroy lives. Words of encouragement can lift us up beyond what we thought we were capable of, pushing us to new heights. Consider carefully the words we speak. Words can tip those dominoes in so many patterns. Mary made a short comment to Jesus, and it led him to begin the journey that ended at the cross and then went beyond to resurrection and new life. One touch, and the domino falls. In all God's names, amen. 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 So gathering as we do, as a community, both physical and in cyberspace, one of the things we do that is so powerful is prayer, gathering up the community prayers. We have the prayer request notebook at the back of the church. If you would like to uh, uh, record a request there, or leave it in the chat box if you are with us virtually. <clears throat> so let us pray. Uamau ke ea o pooka aina ikapono. Hawaiian, it's the state motto of Hawaii. And it means the life of the land is perpetuated in righteousness. Great mystery. You have many names. On this earth, there are sacred spaces defiled and pristine, known and unknown, common places and rare wild places, side streets, landfills, broken down neighborhoods, and little streams forgotten as they are covered over with asphalt. This is our home. All is holy ground. We call to you, maker of dry land and bringer of great waters, waters that flow beneath and around all lands. We offer this prayer like water, 
that we might pour from a bowl onto the earth, or into a running stream, or offer in a glass to another. Bless us. Bless us, we ask. Bless us again. Turn us toward the good path of respect and generosity. May we rise as stewards like the Gwich'in people who live upon the tundra that is shared by the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge, a land they call Ishik Watsan Gwanyali Gudrit, or the sacred place where life begins. It remains under threat of pipelines, oil rigs, and roads that can mark the earth for decades, disrupt caribou calving, and their great migration, changing a people's way of life forever. Help us to see these vital connections and our role in this beautiful, miraculous web, this astounding creation, your unfolding joyous work. Creator God, open our eyes to what you want us to be as custodians of your world. We pray with the peoples of the Pacific Archipelago of Kimbati as COVID has reached their communities, mm. even with all precautions, transmission is high. Mm. Hasten the sharing of vaccines for all, strengthen healthcare workers, and support those who are ill. We long for an end to this pandemic. Mm. Healing God, may we do your will. Our lives are organized in a complex world of streets, roads, lanes, trails, paths, highways and parking lots. We enthusiastically visit forests, beaches, and mountains. What marvels to be in a mountain just a few in just a few hours, like we see in a TV ad for an off for a car. Help us, O oh Creator, to pause at all this grabbing and taking, this race to access whatever we want, while rarely considering the far reaching impact of white and western privilege people around the world and the environment. God of all, may we learn to use lightly and respect the earth, all its resources and people as gifts from you for all on earth. We are outraged as yet again a massive oil spill, the second since April of 2020 has breached the banks of the Coco River in Ecuador. Hmm. Amplify the 27,000 Quechua voices as they speak for their lands and waters, fish, birds, and all animals. May their words be heard by the judges, heard by President Lasso's government, while the land grab, plundering, and degradation goes on unabated by oil mongers and profiteers. Holy One, bring your mercy to this fragile world known as the headwaters of the Amazon. Bring world attention and right action for the indigenous peoples. Mm. Excuse me, Namante Nanquimo, the elected leader of the Guarani people, also in Ecuador, reminds the world that the earth does not need us to fix her, mm -hmm. but to respect her. Oh, great mystery, you've been speaking into our ears for thousands of years. Your son came to tend, feed, protect, and comfort. Help us to hear your voice in all directions, in twilight and at daybreak. We ask you in this time of great tumult in the Amazon to protect the mountainous forests and those specifically south of the mighty Napo River and Wairani Rio Tocano or Capybara River and north of the Snaking Kuare. All rivers and resources are sacred. May it be so. We are connected in an astounding ways with emergency services, internet communication, instant news, the power of a robust electrical grid. Still, do we need every new road cut through forest and at what cost? The Mount St. Helens eruption in 1980 produced a peerless plain that is being studied as life in this fresh world unfolds instill in us a sense of stewardship that can pause and listen before the next road is built or tree dropped. So too for the peoples of the kingdom of Tonga, bring your mercy, strengthen the peoples and leaders of this nation as they enter the long term sorting through of this national catastrophe by volcano and 
tsunami. They are exhausted and frustrating. The unfolding needs are complex and great. There is fear that COVID will enter the archipelago that has for the most part avoided the pandemic. <laughs> These realities are overwhelming. You walk beside us, whispering and guiding, waking us, perhaps warning us. The decades of war and oppression in Afghanistan, the disruption of the economy, and the degradation of a fragile, fragile dry mountain land has set the stage for 3.2 million children to become acutely malnourished. Mm -hmm. UNICEF reports this week that children under the age of five are expected to suffer the most from severe acute malnutrition in the coming year. Holy Healer, in your compassion, hear and answer our prayers. Amen. The African philosophy of Ubuntu teaches that we are human only through the humanity of others. Strengthen our steps and make our footing certain as we walk together upon your sacred land and live at the edge of your sacred waters. As we hold the world in prayer, we carry in our hearts the love of family and friends. And so we offer these prayers, Holy One. For Christine, for Tony, for Jim, for Charles Tom, for Nikki, for health concerns. For the students, faculty, staff, and neighbors of the historically black universities, HBUs, which have received bomb threats this week. Mm -hmm. For the students and staff at all schools, which have been the site of mass shootings. For the family and friends of Kendra Kulem, village planner for Brookfield, accidentally struck and killed by a metro train here in Brookfield oh, on Friday. Oh. 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 We also lift up others by name or in silence. <laughs> yeah, you for once a job. And now we lift up our voices together. Long ago, a disciple asked, teacher, how should we pray? And audaciously he said, pray like this. Our creator, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. earlier. Our giving basket is on the back table of the back of the sanctuary. Uh, you're invited to place your gifts in the basket when you receive communion. Uh, if you're joining us online and feel called to give, we have options for PayPal and Square as well as mailing and checks. Let us pray. Maker of all that is, we return to you a portion of all you have given us. Bless the givers. Bless the gifts that they may multiply and strengthen our work for you in this world. Amen. And now as we gather around this table, we remember that it is 
God's table. It's not my table. It's not Holy Covenant's table. It's not even MCC's table. This is God's table. And all who wish to partake are welcome to come and receive God's good gifts. We will be receiving the elements separately um, due to our COVID precaution. I will place the wafer in your hand and then you can come and take the cup. You can tell which is wine and which is juice, I think. The wine is white wine and then the, the juice is purple. And you can drink, then take both elements and when you, um, and as you go back to your seat, you can throw away the, the cup. If you would like prayer after communion, Joni will be available in the back to, to pray with you. So, let us now come to God's table. We thank and praise you, O God, for you are not distant and uninvolved in our lives and our world, but you have come to us humbly and gently, challengingly and irresistibly. And whoever receives your message of love and hope becomes a child of God, born of the Spirit. So we remember Jesus' birth and life, his suffering and his victory. On the night before he gave himself up to the uh, powers that feared his message of love and reconciliation, he shared a last meal with his friends. He took the bread and he blessed it after the manner of his people. And then breaking it, he offered it to them, saying, This is my body broken for you. Eat this in memory of me. After the meal, he took the cup of wine and blessed it too, after the manner of his people. His people. This is my love poured out for you. Drink this in memory of me. And so we eat and we drink and we remember with, with hope, hope and joy in the new life which comes in God's realm. Amen. Amen. God of grace, come to us again in this meal. And as we share this grain and this grape, may we share in Christ's feast. May we offer ourselves to you again, and may we become one with Christ and with each other, a single, unified body. Amen. 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 Now I invite you to come as you feel called. Circle round for freedom, circle round for peace, for all of us in prison, circle for release, circle for the planet, circle for each soul. For the children of our children, keep the circle whole. Circle round for freedom, circle round for peace, for all of us in prison. Circle for Circle for the planet, circle for each soul, for 
loving God, for breaking into our world, our, our lives, lives, and our experience. We thank you, O Christ, for the zeal of remembering and the stories of love and grace that it tells. We thank you, O Spirit, for your presence and your challenge for us to become agents of God's compassion. In all God's names, amen. amen. Up in the, the corner, that was that was my. Corner. I didn't even notice it last night. I just noticed. I was like, oh my gosh, this part. <laughs> <laughs> it's copyright free, so we. Can, <laughs> that's what we're doing today. So now, my friends, may God bless you with discomfort at easy answers, half truths, and superficial relationships, so that you may live deep within your heart. May God bless you with anger at injustice, oppression, and exploitation of people so that you may work for justice, freedom, and peace. May God bless you with tears to shed for those who suffer pain, rejection, hunger, and war so that you may reach out your hand to comfort them and to turn their pain into joy. And may God bless you with enough foolishness to believe that you can make a difference in the world. Yeah. 
so that you can do what others claim cannot be done, to bring justice and kindness to all God's children. And all God's people said, Thanks be God! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <favorite> <laughs> 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 <laughs>